Howdy everybody, welcome back to Dead Space. This is part 21. Uh, we are going back to somewhere, tram station, that's where we're going. Uh, we most recently um, put the uh, mark, uh, the marker, the, the beacon on the uh, asteroid so we can try and get some help. Uh, but I kind of, I don't know, something's gone awry, so we gotta go back to the bridge. So that's all I remember from part 20. Now, in this game, is there a point of no return? Open that up. Where, if I need to collect everything, I need to do it straight away. <laughs> Isaac, why is your heart beating so much? <laughs> yeah, that kind of worked. Did you see how it didn't win properly? Ooh. Okay. Search and rescue. Got it. Go to the bridge. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so is there like a point of um, no return? So all the collectibles you got to get before you progress, before or you just lose out on everything? That's what my main question is, because I want to make sure I'm collecting as much as I can. Okay, um, bridge it is. It's gonna be a long ride. Hmm. What the? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, that was kind of scary. I definitely got attacked by a giant creature again. Trouble is now arriving at the bridge. Am I going to danger or away from danger? Hmm. Okay. We Oop. did it. Hep, Isaac, a ship just shot in. The USM Valor. They must have heard our SOS. That fast? What's a military ship doing way out here? Out on patrol? Whatever, right now I take a rescue from a fucking magpie. Head for communications. Once we fix the comms array, we can get all the answers we need. There we go, that's our mission. Okay. Fix the comms array, and... Find comms officer Bailey's... Oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that straight away. Um... Yeah, what's a military ship doing out of here? That is the question. I reckon they're here on purpose because of um this ship here. There you go, that's me and my conspiracies. <laughs> my conspiracy theory is probably you can ride on the back of a uh, I don't know <laughs> back of a postage stamp. Do people still use stamps? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. Now, do we have a store here? Because I need to buy some more... ...kind of stuff, like medication and things like that.
I'm thinking we should like change weapons. Let's see, um, still can't get through there. So let's have a look. See what I got. I've got. I haven't got a lot. <laughs> well, so we're gonna go with a medication pack. Don't press the B button. Don't press the B button. Do not press the B button. <laughs> and we're gonna buy two of these. If I could sell my flame, I would. <laughs> I'm expecting to be ambushed because there's like a big thump a minute ago. This is a tank creature. Maybe I can put it into um stasis. Try that. Yeah, I'm ready for you just in case you want to come and attack me. I knew it. Oh. Run, run. Why are you not running? Any more creatures? Oh, boy. Whoa, just how many of these creatures are there? Not once did I manage to pick out the right weapon. <laughs> That's what I wanted. <laughs> so there you go. That was me prepared for the ambush and it still didn't work. Communications should be open. You can head down to the comms control station. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, trouble. I think someone's listening in. Yeah, Nicole's listening in. <laughs> trouble is, do I want to head down there? So, yeah, that was, that was a successful defense. I didn't once manage to pick out the right weapon, which is by pressing up. This came to my defense in the end. And also, I forgot to use my stasis. Well, I tried, but it didn't work. <laughs> Best laid plans of man, men and mice. Well, I guess the uh, the good thing about this um, altercation we just had here is they didn't give me any flame of fuel. <laughs> Clearance confirmed. 
Okay. 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 <laughs> awesome. I don't have any nodes, do I? I don't remember. Oh, not that I can tell on that screen. Oh, yes, I can. No nodes. There we go. <laughs> Got it. Uh, did you know I was going in the elevator? That's kind of scary. <laughs> uh, maybe we should have my flamer here anyway. Just in case I get attacked by those little pasty creatures. Hmm. I'll think about it. Shall I try? I do not use my proximity mind so much at the moment. Okay. Oh yes, I'm gonna save right now. There we go. That is, that either sounds like the um, creatures on the walls with the arms, or the one the the poison poison creatures. That's what it sounds like. Oh, I have been in here. Okay. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Flame of fuel again. Oh, where you come from? Oh, how did I miss you? Okay, how did you get me from there? Oh, you're there. Okay. Can I use my flame wand there? That work? Hey! Okay, maybe the flamer is good. <laughs> well, let me put it another way. I know that a flamer is good to use when you're in these kind of areas where you got all this sticky, gooey mess. So that's my reason behind that. What was in here? Oh, I remember. That's where the tank creature came from. Tell you what I should do. I should save it right now. Don't do that. Save that right now.
Yeah, so speaking of like all those little critters of the attack you and you have to use a flamer to kill them. So yeah, the critters being some out of space. Did anybody catch eight news now from Las Vegas? About our... Uh, they caught on police cam this kind of fireball in the sky that went crashing to the earth. And uh, there... Uh, so a family yard was where it landed it kind of like caught the police and yeah, it was kind of weird and the it was spacecraft or something like that it was kind of like blurred out like what you know like when you're going into stealth mode in fallout you see that kind of blur shape so they were saying things like that and the the family said like some people showed up with um suits and glasses and stuff like that so that kind of started going down the lines of baloney <laughs> But yeah, but the uh, but you can see on the uh, body cam where this fireball, like it's like a meteor crashing down to the surface. It's kind of weird, and and you you feel and they show pictures of the backyard. There's no there's no like crash site, but there's like a kind of a a circle pattern where it landed. It's kind of weird. So yeah, so so my question behind all this is: Do aliens really exist? Other than the X Files, I've never really been a fan of alien kind of stuff. I've not really been into alien stuff um, as much. It's probably why I don't really watch a lot of sci-fi stuff. Which way am I going? Oh, in here. Have I been in here? Oh, this is a completely new area. Okay. This kind of makes me super nervous. <laughs> oh, there's a safe point. Communications array offline. A repair technician has. Right, so we got to go in here. Okay, try it out, see what happens. Oh, hello. Communications log, first comms operator Bailey reporting. I want this on record. The ship is under attack, but Captain Matthias has refused to issue a distress call. And we all know why. This whole operation is illegal. Aegis 7 was sealed off. They knew it, we knew it, and we all kept our mouths shut. That ends now. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is USG Ishimura calling C. Wait, what the hell? Jesus. He took the whole comms array offline. It's over. Okay. Did the captain kill him? Uh, no, that's a Necromorph attack. I guess he got killed by the Necromorphs. Hey, we got Betty's rig. Awesome. So we got um one more fine tram supervisor Benson's rig, but we can't get there yet. So probably later on in the mission. So where we gotta go now? What's down here? From here, so that means I'm gonna go. Oh, unsent message retrieved from array buffer. Progress report, Captain Benjamin Mathias, Paragon Jordan, Una. Some last transmission. Afterwards, I'll make sure our pilgrimage can be completed without interference. 
We have successfully brought the Holy Marker on board. Dr. Kine, an expert on the original marker, is deciphering its secrets. Uh, forgive me for quarantining you just seven. Director Eckhart's work may have been inconvenienced, but they're suffering some sort of epidemic. Regardless, Planet Crack begins tomorrow on schedule. CEC can scratch out its illegal operation now that the true prize is ours. Let's see Earth go try to cover this up. Mm. All men be praised. With eyes up. Yeah, you're a little bit kooky in the head, ain't you, sir? Yeah, you're definitely a little kooky in the head. Maybe you should go and see us get yourself a doctor. Okay, let's go in here. Clearance confirmed. I love these wounds where you got them. Where you get to pick up the wrong item. There we go. Two birds, one stone. Give me something good. Ooh. Give me something good. Now we gotta go through there. Okay. Which means I'm gonna go back here. Not. Hmm. Well, I guess there are no kind of stores near here, so I'm just going to jump on this. Ah, so this is the... Ooh, critters. Critters ever... I'll see them this time. Oh, how'd you get me from around the corner? Am I cheating? I don't know if I'm cheating or not. But when you're trying to survive, you should use all tactics. Come on, little creature. Gotcha. Entering zero gravity. Whoa, man, there's lots of stuff over there. Maybe I need my flamer. What's that? Exiting zero gravity. <laughs> All this just so I can stamp on him. Zero gravity. Okay. Oh, I'm out of them already? <laughs> well, money well spent, I guess. Um, change weapon? Okay. 
So what do we got to do? Fix the what? Fix the comms array. How do I do that? Hey. I see a bit of power here. Oh, I see you got these. These oh, these are the dishes. So you got to fix these. Well, I can't fix it if it's not there. Okay. No power to central node, so I gotta get power from the edge to the central node. And this is obviously showing me which one is connected. It should be this one here. I gotta get match them up down here somewhere. So this one here, so I gotta Put a dish in here. And maybe one in here. Is that how it works? Oh yeah, see this is a broken one. And where's this go in here? That work? I put in the wrong one. I don't know. <laughs> we got one in there, we got one there. Oh, from here, I got the wrong one. Get in. Are you in? Mm -hmm. And then then up at one there. I don't know. I must have been looking at it the wrong way around. So I'll take this one out here. Put that in there. Oh, nope. Come back. Come back. Oh, why has it got like a kind of a cross? Half of the cross is missing. Does that make any difference? Oh no, look at it. You see, see there? Kind of goes to the cross to the right, then down, which follows the beam. So, this is telling me the beam is it's not the right one. Oh, no, no, I got an idea. I got an idea. So it comes in here. No, where is it? Starts from here. So I'm going to take myself the right way around. This is what, oh, this is the right way around. So it starts from here. <laughs> I can't see where I am. So it starts from here. Goes here. Now uh, this... This symbol is showing me it's going to go here and down here, so instead of trying to go down, I need to go across here. Hopefully I'm getting this right. So 
so that's the wrong one so I'd need a different one try this one yeah this one here that's what I need no oh, it went in the wrong way around <laughs> can, I, can I turn it around oh, oh. Nope, it's the science go that way. Okay, got it. Let's try to see if this one orientates the right way around. Nope. <laughs> I'm getting there. This one here, this is the one. There we go. <laughs> Try this one here. Nope, <laughs> wrong again. This one here. There we go. So that goes here. So hmm. I got this right. Well, maybe I got it wrong. No, no, no. I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay, I'm really confused. Okay, um, now I'm looking at it from this uh, level here. It looks makes more sense. Okay, so we got... Okay, let's try this. Give it to this one here. <laughs> oh, this is more tricky than it looks. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, there we go. I didn't realize I had one, the straight one here. So my plan would have worked if I could see this one. <laughs> I didn't see it. Now I got it. Now we got this to work out. This is the one that was missing all this time. Okay, so let's start again. Cross there, up there, cross there, down there, and then straight, I guess. And this one here. Well, that means that one needs to go over here. Not that I can get there because it'll hold in the way. There we go.
perfect. I don't know why, I just couldn't see it. My vision was just black, so I couldn't see where I was looking. Going. This goes in the center here. There we go. <laughs> I knew how to do it, but, um... I think you got it. Try opening a channel to the Valor. Yep. I knew how to do it, but I couldn't get, um... I didn't know the actual alarm on the van. And I couldn't see that missing center one there. I didn't realize it was hidden in the back somewhere. <laughs> good, good puzzles I have. It's a bit tricky trying to float around and put them in the right way. Yeah, interesting, interesting puzzle. we go so we got that done so I, I think I'm gonna call this uh, end of the episode Exiting zero gravity. There we go oh let's let's activate this first see what happens USM Valor, broadcasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. We've picked up your escape pod number 47 and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. The escape pod? Oh, fuck. The pod Hammond jettisoned. It had chip. That creature was inside. No, 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 no. USM Valor, come in. Come in, Valor. Oh, great. Oh, her signal isn't strong enough. Can we deploy the long-range antenna? No, something's blocking the blast doors over the comms array. The hell? There'll be a manual release over at maintenance. I'll go. Keep trying to reach them. <laughs> okay. Deploy the antenna. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna call that the episode, end of the episode. Uh, I don't think that's as problematic as they're making it think, because it's a military ship, and it's an escape pod. Obviously, they'll put quarantine procedures on there. They'll see the creatures like there's a creature inside there trying to escape or whatever it's doing, because it's locked inside and there's glass, so they can they know there's a, like an, an alien in there, so they should have it um under control, it being a military ship and all that. But that doesn't kind of work, does it, with story writers? I like to put a little bit of jeopardy in there. <laughs> Make things seem unlikely. But it doesn't always go that way with story writing, so... <laughs> it makes for a very boring game when things were solved that easy. Uh, so there you go, everybody. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, it was an interesting puzzle. Uh, so everybody, um, sincerely, take care of each other. Have a really nice day, and I will see y'all 